Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We're going to cover a lot in this update. I think you'll really uh, find it valuable. So we've been dealing with warm temperatures today. Some record highs being set in the, in the valleys like Denver and up in Salt Lake and all the mountains surrounding them. Very warm. There was a risk of wet slab avalanches and we're actually seeing that happen. Um, it, with temperatures like in the Wasatch, widespread 50 degree plus highs at you know, like 10,000 feet. We're seeing that in Colorado with some very warm temperatures in the mountains as well. That's going to change, and I'll show you my freezing level forecast here coming up for the Wasatch and in parts of Colorado. But there's a cold front and a storm that'll break loose on or after 412 coming out of the Pacific Northwest. That'll sweep down through Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, Colorado with some snow and colder temperatures. Then the long-term pattern is really fascinating, and there's some disagreement, and I'll show you where the disagreement is and this is really pertinent to the west coast coming up here in just a few minutes immediately i want to go over to uh this is water vapor so oranges and reds on this represent drier air and a couple of things i want to point out here's our pacific northwest storm system it's going to drag a cold front down with it and this is what's going to bring all the freezing levels down and help re-solidify the snowpack so they can reopen 210 but this is going to come down like this and run through colorado um, between 412 and 414. It's going to do that. It's going to follow that path. I also want to show you, this is kind of interesting. This low has been extremely sluggish and hard to shake. It's been affecting Hawaii for a while. Cloud cover, um, it's been really tough to get rid of. It's, it's really cut off from the northern branch. Northern branch is up here, fueling this storm. There is a southern branch, but I'm not sure how much it's actually playing into this low because it's just kind of sitting on its own, but fascinating to see that low in the same place now for so long. All right, check out my blog. I uh, published it to uh, chrystomer.com, pattern through 420. I took a look back at March 2023 because these maps came out, and they're really fascinating. For Utah, it was a giant of a month. Um, most of the state had... Um, much above normal precip. It was in the top 10% for most of the state. The dark green was record amounts of precip, and look how widespread the, the dark green is. It was a huge month for the month for the uh, the state of Utah. In Colorado, it couldn't have been more different. I mean, talk about a dividing line right on the Continental Divide, dry east, wet west. Take a look at those maps, uh, chrystomer.com. Forecast freezing levels. Um, this is uh, really important. Obviously, we're dealing with this today. Very warm day in the Wasatch. Freezing levels pretty much where they were yesterday. There was no overnight refreeze, so it was 13 and above uh, the freezing level yesterday and today. The big drop comes 413, 414. I know crews are really hoping this happens so they can reopen 210, but then it comes right back up. It warms up again, 15, 16. Look at Colorado, the central mountain zone. Huge day today. This was our warmest max day. Um, we've had some wet slab avalanches, one that closed birth had passed today. 14.4, so the freezing level, the 32 degree line, way up at the top of the 14ers today. Um, it goes down, comes down tomorrow, and then the cold front does its work. And by 4.14, we're about 9,000. Let's look at the pattern. Looking way down the road, this is really fascinating. So 4.20, this was my forecast jet from this morning. Let me show you what we're dealing with this afternoon. A little change but still a big trough. But look at the placement of the dip in the jet. It's way off the coast into the north. So it's affecting the Pacific with both branches of the jet coming together. So there's something there. But look at this, different of, a, different of opinion, difference of opinion here. Same time period, this particular model indicating that this trough, which is about four sigma, four standard deviations below the 30-year norm. So this is a big deal. Of Wherever this ends up, this is going to be a major player. This actually puts it and affects California, Utah, Washington State, the West Coast. If it sets up as this is indicated, we're going to have a, uh, there's going to be a significant effect of this across the West. It would be cool, it'd be wet, and it'd be snowy. So wherever this ends up, it's going to be a big deal. All right, back to the blog. Forecast timing, and I'll take this full. Forecast radar and satellite. This is Wednesday morning, waiting on the storm to dislodge. Here it comes, drags a cold front down, heavy snow, Montana, Wyoming. Briefly through the Wasatch, and then it affects Colorado. And then that exits, and we're back to watching what's happening in the Pacific Northwest to see where that trough 
a dip in the jet actually sets up. All right, let me jump, let me go back to my block here. Forecast totals from this morning. Let me show you what I've got here in my latest update. Okay, rest of today through the 13th, the biggest numbers are with the cold front dragging, and blasting its way through Montana, the Tetons, parts of Idaho, and again, briefly through the Wasatch. We'll probably see uh, about four to eight, maybe four to 10, maybe. Um, Depends on just how quickly this thing moves through. Period one, and here's period two. Um, then it would move through Colorado with probably three to eight inches of snow accumulation. And then look at the Pacific Northwest. So again, wherever that trough ends up setting up, that's where we're going to see the big snows and the cold air. And this is indicating, um, and I'm showing you here, that I've got at least a couple of feet up there um, for a couple of spots. So it'll be fascinating to see where that sets up. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, this update. We went a little bit longer, but, um, you know, the, this is really where the discussion is going to be. Where does this trough set up? And I'll keep an eye on it and keep things updated here. Take care. Enjoy the day. Thanks for tuning in here.